TSC specialize in the supply of dynamic simulators for training in process plant and control and have provided many systems worldwide over the past 30 years. TSC has a wide range of simulations, from basic units to advanced systems, all designed to run on PCs. This video describes each of a set of three advanced range simulation models. These are detailed generic models of an onshore oil production facility, an onshore gas production facility, and an LNG tanker unloading and regasification facility. In each case, the product is taken through separation, treatment, and export stages. Each of the models is operated through its comprehensive DCS emulation screens and graphics. The video shows the standard screens, but TSC is able to offer the model using many alternative emulated DCS styles. Please contact TSC to request details. The first simulation is the oil production facility, model SIM 675. The main overview screen gives a summary of the facility processes. On the left, a number of wells are feeding a manifold system. The outputs are lined up with HP, LP, and test separators as appropriate. The separated oil output is pumped to storage, and then pumped through a long pipeline to dockside storage. Finally, the oil may be jetty loaded to tankers. The separated water is passed to hydrocyclones. A seawater lift system allows water to be re-injected through a water injection wellhead. Each of the area overviews may be drilled down to more detail. As an example, selecting the three-phase separation area gives greater detail of the manifold and separator valves and connections. Selecting any of the separators gives access to the details and instrumentation faceplates for that process item. At this level, pipeline compositions may also be displayed. The whole model drills down to over 30 separate control screens. But moving on now to an overview of the gas production facility, model SIM 676. The main overview screen gives a summary of the facility processes. On the left, the wells are feeding an HP gas separator. The separated gas passes through a contactor tower to remove the majority of any remaining water vapor. The dry gas then passes through a turbo expander system to obtain the required dew point water content. A further level of detail is given for the rotating machinery components of the turbo expansion system. The gas is then exported through a compressor to a pipeline. A further level of detail is given for this compressor stage, including the pipeline discharge, hot gas bypass and recycle line with anti-surge valve control. The triethylene glycol regeneration system may be operated as an independent area. It is based on a normal plant layout, and further drill-down levels are available to control the process. Moving on to the main overview screen for the LNG production facility, model SIM 677, this is based around an LNG tanker delivery with onshore regasification and boil-off recondensation. The produced gas is passed to a local compressor which feeds a 10 km pipeline. A remote compressor station is then used to boost the flow into a further gas transmission pipeline. The tanker unloading and storage area graphic drills down to show more detail and each item may be further selected to access its local instrumentation and control. This includes operation of the jetty unloading arms and associated shutdown valves. All three of the models include a comprehensive cause and effect and ESD matrix display for each area. With this matrix, the trainee can work out the cause of the shutdown and emergency valve conditions. If allowed by the instructor, the input signals and the output ESD signals may be overridden or bypassed. 
Each of the three models also includes a comprehensive trends package that is fully configurable for both the timescale axis and for the trend channels being displayed. The package emulates typical trend graphics styles. But specific DCS emulations may be provided by TSC if required. Each simulation model is started from the TSC menu base selector. The Choose Simulation option gives a list of the models that are installed on that PC. Choosing from the list gives the user the starting options, usually either at the Design Operating condition or in the Cold Startup condition, or from previous snapshots and saves. Starting a model brings up the overview screen for immediate operation. The models may be run on individual PCs or may be run and remotely monitored over a standard Ethernet network. A network using standard TCP IP connects a classroom of PCs. A printer may be added for event log and trend display printing. All the PCs carry identical software. This means that a single hardware failure is not critical. These models may also be run in the TSC virtual control room. This is based on a specially designed four workstation console system. The TSC website includes a full detailed video of the room. Each simulation is controlled through its emulated DCS graphics. Trainees have to operate using proper procedures and communications in order to carry out exercises and assessments. Each workstation is able to navigate through all the screens on a process plant independently. Here, one of the trainees is applying a startup inhibit to the ESD signal caused by a low, low pressure alarm to override the protection signal prior to starting a pump. Using the screen navigation capabilities of the DCS, he finds the page to line up the valves to the pump and opens the correct flow path. He selects each valve faceplate, confirms the choice, and each valve is set. Its opening position is shown on the associated bar graph and also by its color on the display screen. With all the flow path valves lined up, procedure allows him to start the pump. Every action that is taken is recorded in an event log file. The log can be printed as a record or saved to a permanent folder under the trainee or course name. A complete skills and competence record is therefore available from the system. For each model, the instructor has password access to a special display page. For example, in the oil production model, the instructor page includes the display formats and access rights to controls and ESD overrides. The measurement units may be selected to suit your local preference. The page includes boundary points and pipeline compositions, jetty tanker arrivals and ESD override timeouts. And finally, the page allows tuning of all the control loop constants. The instructor pages for the other models are very similar. In addition, the instructor may set up scenarios of unusual or fault conditions for any of the plant items. These may be set up and removed on timed scenarios. This allows constant training of common fault occurrences across a number of trainees. These TSC models comprise three common production systems covering onshore oil and gas production and export and LNG tanker reception. They include a powerful fault and unusual condition interface for the instructor, who is also able to adjust the system boundaries, process conditions and control loop tuning. Every action is logged and may be saved as future evidence of performance and competence. This TSC range of dynamic process simulations uses a modern DCS style interface together with comprehensive user guides and workbooks. The models may be run on individual PCs or as part of a fully integrated and remotely monitored classroom or within the powerful TSC virtual control room. The range has been designed to be both cost effective and easy to install. Lifetime licenses are included with the purchase, 
and long-term support contracts are provided. Please contact TSC on our website for more details of our whole range of advanced dynamic simulations for training and competence assessment.